It is what he wanted. Friday's memorial service for Muhammad Ali will represent many religious faiths and be held in his hometown of Louisville, Kentucky. Former President Clinton, Billy Crystal, and Brian Gumbel will eulogize the three-time world heavyweight champ, but Ali's boxing career can be traced to Madison in 1959, and our Dave Delosier joins us with more on that story tonight, Dave. Eric and Michelle, you know, then fighting as Cassius Clay, the 17-year-old came here for the Pan Am Games trials. Bob Lynch, a legend in Wisconsin boxing, was there that day. I started training for boxing right uh, at the end of World War II. In the world of boxing, for 70 years, Bob Lynch has seen it all. Yep, I've seen a lot of boxing, an awful lot of it. And he remembers one particular fight in April of 1959 involving a 17-year-old named Cassius Clay. I do recall seeing him uh, in a match in the University of Wisconsin Fieldhouse, and he happened to have lost that particular match. He would go on a year later to win an Olympic gold medal, turn professional, and become a three-time heavyweight champion of the world. Against, that might be all, ladies and gentlemen. That's why I say I'm the greatest. I'm a poet. I'm a movie star, I'm an actor, I'm a fighter, and most of all, I'm pretty. Having changed his name to Muhammad Ali, he took boxing to another level. I think so. I think he definitely helped it to step up. At least there was a lot of news about him. It wasn't always positive. His uh, refusal to uh, show up for the United States military draft got an awful lot of publicity of the wrong kind. But he prevailed in, in that situation in the end and not having to uh, go to prison. In Bob's office, there were reminders of his career in the ring and the decisions he made in life. I had my time in the U.S. military, two years in the Army, uh, a couple Purple Hearts, uh, but I never denigrated anybody else that did not want to go through that sort of situation. And now, years later, prominent on his wall. And it's a very famous photo is an image of the boxer who didn't just say he was the greatest he proved it either he'll be right at the top or he'll be in his own category now bob lynch says muhammad ali uh, did for boxing what few others have been able to do he took boxing off the sports pages and put it on the front pages of newspapers and eric and michelle bob still is very active in boxing he uh, he spends his time as a, as a judge now and i got to tell you i've been fortunate with what i do for a living to meet a lot of really great people but i really enjoyed meeting bob yeah he's a great wow. guy to talk he's... to and a real encyclopedia of boxing <laughs> history and yes. he's just an unbelievable guy all right good to hear that story yeah. thank you very much you bet